Since yesterday's unprecedented escalation of violence on Khorenazi Street in the Yerevani district of Yerevan, 136 citizens have been detained. 51 people, including 29 police officers, have been reported to have sustained injuries of various degrees. Today, during the government session, Armenian Prime Minister Hovik Abrahamian made the first official statement heard from Armenia's leadership in the past five days. The Prime Minister called the situation unacceptable and inexcusable because violence cannot bring real change and is a dangerous and ineffective process, he said. Deeply troubled by the recent developments, the Prime Minister assured that the government is doing and will continue to do everything to reach a peaceful solution. The ruling Republican Party, which too has remained silent while a critical situation develops in the country, convened today. The party discussed the developing situation in the country in line with other issues. During a press conference following the summit, Edward Sharmazanov, the party spokesperson, said what everyone has been saying the past five days, no to bloodshed, and that the Republican Party supports a resolution through negotiations. Sharmazanov explained his party has remained silent this long not to hinder the negotiations process. Armenia's former foreign affairs minister, the president of the Unity Party, Vartan Oskanyan, and other members of the party joined the protesters today on Khorenazi. Oskanyan said he sees a way out of the situation which is not in a deadlock unless considered from the perspective of the ruling regime hoping to emerge victorious from the crisis. Oskanyan believes authorities have adopted a very rigid stance. It's time they loosen their position and negotiate with the group, said Oskanyan, and added that if we can negotiate with Turkey and Azerbaijan, then we can certainly negotiate with people who have liberated Karabakh. CivilNet had a brief telephone conversation with Pavel Manukyan at around 11 a.m. this morning. The leader of the Sasnazarer group said their demands and proposals remain unchanged. He confirmed that they had a shortage of food supplies, but their mood is excellent even though last night was tense and there had been attempts by the authorities to infiltrate into the area under siege. The issue of food supply in the besieged police station has been a major concern these last two days. Vitali Balasanyan, member of the nagorno karabakh parliament, has been allowed inside today. At around 10 p.m. in the evening, it was announced that Balasanyan has succeeded in negotiating a solution to the problem. Before that, the issue was heavily discussed among protesters gathered in Erebunim. Also earlier in the day, a group of citizens had approached the Red Cross office asking them to mediate and deliver food and water into the area, but were told the situation is not typically within the Red Cross mandate, but will be discussed and considered. Protesters and several public figures gathered in Erebuni today voiced concerns and suggestions throughout the day. The situation has remained calm throughout the day. Thank you.